Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 18th of 2022, well, it is titled Milky Way Auroral Flower. So what do we see here? Well, a combination of a couple things set in this image as seen in northern Sweden. And we see on the left hand side the Milky Way galaxy stretching up from the horizon there and kind of turning and then expanding out into this great flower shape, giving you the illusion that the Milky Way is expanding into a great green flower. Now the Milky Way is of course our Milky Way galaxy our spiral galaxy as we see it from within. And that is what a galaxy looks like from inside and in fact a spiral galaxy as we see how thin it is that it is made up of a lot of star clouds as well as dark dust clouds blocking out large portions of the area keeping us from being able to see them. Now on the right hand side we see the blossoming aurora. The aurora are caused by charged particles from our sun which will strike the Earth's magnetic field be funneled down toward the north and or south magnetic poles and there they strike the atmosphere giving off distinct colors and in fact one of the primary colors of the aurora is green and that is caused by oxygen atoms now that's not the oxygen molecules that we breathe which is two oxygen atoms bound together but in the upper atmosphere oxygen exists just as single atoms and when those are excited they give off a distinct green color of light. Now you may also see some red and or purple aurora. The red aurora is also caused by oxygen atoms. So how does oxygen give off two specific different wavelengths here? Well that would have to do with the altitude at which they occur. The red occurs at a much higher altitude where there is far less density of the atoms. Since there is less density there, they don't collide as frequently and transitions that would be extremely rare at lower altitudes can occur and can give us that very red color. The purple is often caused by nitrogen atoms. So nitrogen atoms when excited can give off red and blue light, mixing it together to give us purple. So the different colors are caused by the primary components of our atmosphere, which are nitrogen and oxygen. And when they are very thin high up in the atmosphere and are excited by those particles from the sun, they can give off this distinct glow. Now, how often aurora occur depends on how active the sun is, as it is the source of the charged particles that cause the aurora. The sun had been very inactive for a few years and is now reaching a higher point in its cycle and in fact becomes active and inactive on an 11 year cycle. So as we approach the peak over the next couple of years, we can expect the aurora to be far more frequent and more intense as more particles streaming from the sun will end up striking Earth. So that was our picture of the day for October 18th of 2022. It was titled Milky Way Auroral Flower. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Galaxy Grab. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.